Hi everyone, it's Tracy Martirana here from Holistic Wellness with Tracy. And today I wanted to talk to you about one of my favorite ways to make sure that I'm getting veggies into my weekly meal plan and that I have a plan for those busy weeknights when I don't really have a lot of time for dinner and I just wanna grab something quick. So what I like to do is usually on Sunday, but sometimes it's Saturday, sometimes it's Wednesday. <laughs> All depends on the schedule but what I like to do when I have a little bit of extra time to spend in the kitchen is to make up a nice big pot of some sort of very vegetable soup and I call it that because it doesn't really matter what vegetables are in it I just want lots of veggies and I want to have this available so that I can just heat it up for a quick lunch or a quick dinner at any time during the week I start with pretty much the same basic concept every time I do this, but most of the time I would say every batch is different. So I might choose to make an Italian inspired vegetable soup or Mexican or Indian. I might choose to add in a bunch of noodles and make it more of a noodle, like a noodle soup. I don't use chicken, so it's just a noodle soup. Um, but I start off just using essentially the same basic formula. I take my basic veggies, I start sauteing them in my big soup pot. I then add maybe any special veggies. So if I'm doing Mexican, like I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna be using jalapenos and maybe some red bell pepper. Um, I have some corn that was in the freezer. And then as I cook that up, I will spice it with maybe cumin and um, chili powder, lots of garlic, uh, and then I'll add some veggie broth to it, but then to zest that up a little bit, I have some spicy V8 that I will add in as well. I'll add some black beans. I have a little bit of rice cooking on the stove. So I really just sort of throw together any veggies I have, plus a few specific veggies or a few specific um, spices or herbs like cilantro here um, to make the soup whatever flavor profile I'm looking for. So today I'm going to make the Mexican version. I hope it inspires you to give this a try. So let's get started chopping some veggies. I have um, a medium sized onion that I'm going to chop up. Again with pretty much this whole entire recipe quantities are sort of whatever you have on hand. So I happen to have this medium onion um, if I had a larger onion, I would use that. If I only had a half an onion in my fridge, I would be okay with that too. Um, this recipe is very flexible. So I just peel the onion. Um, I'll give it a rough chop and get it in this pan with some olive oil. Again, just chopping. I don't worry about making my cuts too small because I like my soup a little chunky. If you like it less so, just dice a little finer. I'm going to prep this garlic just to mince it later but since it's sitting right here I might as well get the peels off and then I'll move on to my celery. So I am just roughly chopping up two stalks of celery. Um, again more or less depending on what you like. Just juicing around the onions and then I'll add my celery to that letting everything starting to warm up and saute while I chop up my carrots. So I had fairly decent sized carrots in my fridge so I'm just grabbing three that I've already peeled and now I'm just chopping them up sticking them in the pan letting everything begin to saute together again into as small as pieces as you like I like these little half moons but you could dice them into little triangles if that seems better to you so I'm just stirring around and then I'll move on to um my broccoli. So I have this big head of broccoli. I'm not going to use it all. So I'm just cut off a handful of big florets and then I just cut it into little florets. So I like to have some that are nice and pretty, but I also don't mind just chunks of stem as well. So I'm just cutting it up into little bite sized pieces and popping it in the pot. This is one of the tricks I learned from Rachel Ray on her cooking show years ago is to have my cutting board right next to my stove and you can just chop and pop it in and move on to the next thing. Cleaning off my board with a knife 
probably not the best habit, but it's what I do. So then I'm just stirring it around, taking a look at all my pretty vegetables. So this is just starting to saute, so they're still nice and crispy now. But as I keep adding veg, they will keep cooking and softening up a little bit. In my fridge, I happen to have this half of a red bell pepper, so I figured I might as well grab that, dice it up, and add that in. And since I'm making a Mexican version of the soup, the red bell pepper sounded like a good addition. Again, dice it as small as you want in whatever manner you want. I also have a jalapeno now. I have two, but I'm starting with one. I like it hot, so I'm keeping all the membrane and the seeds, but I did just give it a quick taste and decided this pepper is pretty spicy, so I'm just gonna use this one. If you find jalapenos too spicy, just clean them out a little bit more, get rid of the membrane and the seeds, and they won't be nearly as warm. Now I'm just mincing those two garlic cloves stirring around, letting all the flavors begin to meld. Now that all my veg, or most of my veg is in there, I salt and pepper. I probably added about a half a teaspoon-ish of salt and a few grinds of pepper. And now I'm gonna throw in a can of diced tomatoes. And I happen to have a bag of corn in my fridge. <clears throat> so, this summer when the corn was fresh, I bought a few ears, cut it all off, and froze it. There's about a cup of corn in this bag, so I'm just popping that in. And then I'll add some spices. So we'll start with cumin, a couple teaspoons, maybe a little chili powder, a couple tablespoons. I like lots of chili powder. Yum. Add that in, stir it all around, let those spices get really fragrant. Um, when they're added to the heat, it just smells yummy. And you can see here, the spices begin to add a little bit of color to it. The veggies are starting to soften up. The tomatoes added a little moisture that are allowing it to soften even more. And then I'm gonna add in some liquid. So I have this box of veggie broth, just gonna dump that in. And then because I'm making the Mexican version, I wanna spice it up a little bit more. So I have this spicy V8. I'm gonna put about a cup or two. Again, less if you don't like spice, more if you do. Wouldn't be Mexican soup without some fresh cilantro. I like to pick out just some of the big stems um, and then chop it up. It's probably, this is probably about a quarter of a cup. More or less, again, depending on your taste buds. And I will serve it with some fresh cilantro. So uh, we'll add even more later. A little taste test lets me know I need to add a little more spice. So I add probably another teaspoon of cumin and another tablespoon of chili powder. Again, I like to taste all throughout, especially, you know, when I don't, if I'm making it for the first time, just to see. So I'm adding a can of black beans. Have to rinse those in this colander first. Dump those in. Stir it around. I had pre-cooked some rice, about a cup of rice, so I just add that in. And there we have it with the rice and the beans, all the veggies. V8 added a nice tomato broth, serving it up with some fresh cilantro, just chopping that up to sprinkle over top, and then I'll add just a little slice of jalapeno, mostly just because I think it's pretty and I don't mind that nice hot bite when I eat that, but again, if it's too spicy, skip over that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I'm Tracy Martirana and I use my knowledge of nutrition, meditation, yoga, Ayurveda, and herbalism to provide information and inspiration to help you live a healthy, happy, and balanced life. Have a good day.